We haven't seen my PFTs since I had that really bad virus. Peter needs some new underwear. <laughs> Peter needs some. I'm trying to make it. <laughs> I'm trying to make it sound less like an announcement and more like, "Hey, just normal day life over here at the Fry House." Peter needs some new underwear. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Where are you going with this? We're gonna go get some new underwear. Oh, yeah, Maybe it's because I'm so excited to go in the car. I ordered some for curbside pickup. Curbside underwear pickup. <laughs> <laughs> hey babe, do you need some new underwear? <laughs> okay, well, I ripped a hole. In you the ripped a hole? I think more than one pair, actually. <laughs> Well, we are back from our errand, and I got my underwear. Got his underwear. Check. Curbside underwear delivery. You know? It was awesome. I wanted to show you guys the end product of my little craft I did today. I used a can that was tomato paste, so it's a little tiny can and a regular size can, and they turned out cute. It was fun to do. I was hoping to find some use for these cans, and there we go. I mean, I don't know. It was fun to do. I don't know how practical it is, but it was fun. Also, this is really good news. As you guys know, well, this part isn't great news. 
As you guys know, cystic fibrosis clinics, actually, I don't know if you know this. I don't know if I made an announcement about this. Because of the risk of going into a hospital setting or a clinic setting, to lessen the risk as much as possible, they are only having us come in for CF clinic if we absolutely need it. And now that we're heading into, we're heading into a time when we're able to go in more frequently, but for the last few months, it's just been like only if you really need, like our care teams are all there for us if we need any help with prescriptions or anything, but as much as possible, we've been trying to treat from home. Anyway, they sent me a PFT machine, uh, like my clinic. It's kind of from my clinic, but I think it's kind of a lot of people working together. I know the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation uh, offered some funding for the CF clinics to be able to buy PFT machines for their patients, the, a whole thing. Anyway, I got a box today. I did my PFTs. They are stable, which we're so thankful for because I, we haven't seen my PFTs since I had that really bad virus two and a half months ago. So that was amazing. Really grateful for that. In other news, Harry is freaking adorable. Yeah, Peter has sphinx paralysis. Oh my goodness. He can't move because- well, Mary came over here with, with the cat asleep in the blanket and laid him on me. And I'm like, oh, now I'm never getting up. <laughs> and you're okay and with he that. stretches his arms out and lays his head down. I mean, come on. I know. It's Which painfully is adorable. Very therapeutic after today I got a call from the company that we get our health insurance through telling us that the premium is going up big time and like unaffordable. And so knowing that there's going to be a lot of um, figuring out the details of health insurance in the next few months. It's not fun, but part of it. Peter's had to work through a lot on the business end of it, um, researching and all of that. And so I know that he will get through it and I will cheer him on however I possibly can. But it's going to be a lot, so... That's gonna be a lot. Ollie, are you having such a fun time with that squeaky cactus? I love it. Do you wanna show your friends? Do you wanna show them? Say, look, here's my squeaky cactus. I like your cactus. All right, guys. As always. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Don't you think we're Good night. There's been a development. Like, I was, I was sitting here just picking this up, and all of a sudden I felt something on my chin, and I looked down and scratched it.